Hey, uh, John here again. I just got a quick video on uh, uh, a rack for your snowmobile when you want to work on them. In the past, I was, uh, you know, you'd jack up a one, you know, let's say you had to do uh, work on, I don't know, your studs in the back there or adjust the track or even up front change a skag, you know, or ski or shock or whatever. You kind of have to jack it up. I mean, I use this pit here. I just straddled across it and put it on like uh, those dolly carts over there so I can wheel it around and did it that way. It's kind of a problem though because, you know, it's still on the ground around the, on the cart there. So, you, you know, it is kind of a pain in the ass to work on a snowmobile that's, especially something like this, that's 770 pounds. So he had this cart that, you know, it suspended the whole sled in the air. It was on wheels. I thought it was nifty and uh, asked him to see if he could make me a, a set and, uh, you know, for that one too. And uh, so I had these carts, or not carts, but uh, racks. Uh, a couple extra racks like these, aluminum racks. You know, I just use them for storing whatever, you know, crap on. So he did make me a couple and uh, put wheels on them. Let me get them down, I'll, I'll show you what they look like. Right, this is what they look like. Um, he basically just took a rack, flipped it upside down. As you can see, uh, you know, added some extensions there and a little bit of uh, round stock there with rubber tips on them. Um, so this way the sled, well I'll show you, I'll, I'll put it on the sled. He said that's the only thing, uh, you know, you have to have some way to get them up onto the thing unless you have a garage full of, you know, people to, you know, manually put it up there. Um, it could be problematic, but I have, uh, I made a couple of things and I got a sling there. I'll show you what I did for that. But the one here, this wasn't identical, uh, you know, it was the same cart, but that sled already kind of so heavy that I didn't like the way that the, uh, you know, the round stock there, the pogos, was kind of flexing my skid plate because uh, it's just so heavy. So I added this piece here with a piece of uh, hard plastic, I guess you can call it, for uh, actually going on the back of hand trucks to climb stairs with. But I added this piece here just so it takes up the hole, you know, underneath. I'll show you that in a sec. But uh, so. Let me show you what I did to, to get it up there because I'm flying solo. I don't have a garage full of people to, you know, hoist it up there. Let me set it up. Well, show the you first thing is if you have a chain fall, that'll work. I mean, this one is uh, it's on a bar up there and, you know, I can move that anywhere in the garage. The one is between these two four foot uh, two by eights. Um, you know, I don't really uh, know what the weight I can pull on that is. I've had a lot up there, but I do just put extra uh, bars, you'll see. Uh, that you know supports it but I've used a come along with just a board stretched across there that holds a lot of weight just for you know oddball stuff but um, so so that's uh, you know a, a must if you're solo some kind of either come along or or chain hoist or you know chain fall or hoist or something um, but I also had this uh, had this thing for about 15 years now maybe maybe more what it is it's a it's a sling for for um, well, let me get it out of here. For, I did uh, took the top of my car off. It's for a C4 Corvette. You know, to take the top, you know, take the body apart from the frame. And uh, so this has been sitting around for years. So I'm going to use something like this, and uh, I'll put everything together and I'll show you what I did. At least, uh, you know, give somebody an idea of how you would get it up on a rack like this. And again, I was going to make these racks out of steel. But since I had the aluminum carts, they're they're wicked light and they're sturdy. So um, I don't have no, you know, all the welders I got is just for steel. So I don't I don't have any TIG or anything, any ways or means of, uh, you know, welding aluminum. So that's why Tom had to do it. But uh, you can see it's pretty basic. I mean, uh, these things in the middle don't really need to be there. I mean, n nothing touches. It's just like I said, it's easy for him. He flipped the rack over and just, you know, added an extension here and. Did a little kind of bridge work there, uh, but it's it's pretty straightforward. I mean, uh, not a lot to it. But wait till you see what 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 it does for you. Let me right. set that up. Now, originally, you know, when I decided to do the first of all, these bars, these load bars, are just there for extra support. Um, I think I can lift that. You know, I think those uh, those are two double double two by eights on each side hanging from collar. To, you know, I don't think uh, they would go anywhere. But I just put them there just for support. The problem I was having originally was where the hell to pick this up. I mean, these came with, uh, you know, to hook on to uh, part of the frame on a, or part of the uh, body on a car. Um, but they're, you know, this is all plastic and 
some of this stuff is kind of weak metal, you know, so as far as picking it up and a balancing point, I was having a little bit of problem with that. I mean, I don't really want to yank up on this running board, you know, I mean, it's probably sturdy enough, but so that's the problems I was having. Where could I hook these? So I did have to make some one thing and it turned out to be a easy thing. And I was going to make uh, the racks out of this just square tube, but a steel, you know, so this this piece here is kind of almost as heavy as the racks themselves. So all I did is um, uh, this is just, you know, f f when it's on the belly pan just to protect a little bit, but uh, just put these bars together and put a, a piece of round stock so that clip can grab here and I'll show you, I'll show you more. I'll set the camera up over there when I get it uh, ready. That's all, you know, I just had to make that piece and uh, it, it works pretty good. I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate it. All right, from down here, you can see the bar just runs across underneath. I got a little tension on it and uh, you know, so that's your original setup there. And like I was saying, this uh, this just kind of, you know, grabs that piece there, uh, the round stock. And you just had to make sure, I just had to make sure that, uh, you know, it clears the, uh, the body. This thing's ready to be lifted. I just was uh, looking around. The reason the back there, um, it's not really pulling on this, but, you know, for a balancing act, uh, it would kind of droop down too much, so I just got a hook to the body here. I mean, this is, uh, you know, like I said, there'll be a little bit of tension, but nothing, you know, it's not going to tear it off or nothing because it's basically just balanced. Most of the weight is on this, on this bar here, and you know, because the motor is heavy and everything's all the weight's pretty much up there, so it's almost directly under it. I'm about ready to lift this, so let me, uh, let me show that. Like, uh, let's see if I can get a picture of it. Looks like it's just a little bit. Actually, I could probably just do it this way. Get, on, get under that bar. There we go. Uh, see, this thing just kind of free flows under there. And you can lower it. Let me get your shot of that. I position this uh, by the way the guy that made this Tom he's in New York I'm in Massachusetts he didn't even have the measurements for this sled it just worked out perfect I don't know if they're generic I don't know where you get the plans from if you just thought of it or whatever but these uh, this stem here fits on this uh, you know this this angled piece here which is just for more, more in reinforcement instead of you know it, it didn't get any holes again he's never set, seen this sled so I guess I got lucky there but um, once again I don't know you know how we knew what angles or whatever but uh let me lower this and see what we do shot I've got a little tension on the bar itself and now everything's centered um, but again that bar going across is a little better deal than just the two uh, you know the round stock sticking up just because the sled is so heavy it was kind of not poking a hole but you could see it was flexing a little bit just for them too so that was the only modification I used let me lower this Uh, 
Now, as you can see, you can work on everything. Um, you want to do the skis, the skags, whatever, you know, everything's accessible. Suspension. Uh, I mean, we could probably even start this up, you know, do a track alignment. I mean, uh, you know, like I said, it's, uh, it's on caster, so you just, you know, do whatever you need to do. Wheel it around the garage. I'm going to keep it on these for, for the summer, you know, just push them over there somewhere. That way I can keep the trailer empty in case I need to use it for something. Uh, but look at all these studs I can replace before. It was a pain in the ass. Now, I don't know if this will start or not because it's been... see what I'm talking about I don't know I think it's just a nifty tool I guess you could call it a it's just a simple rack but it's just gonna make life so much easier not to mention you know storing it. I could push it right up against a wall low profile you don't have to uh, I mean it you know the drawback is I can't wheel it out into the stone there just because the wheels are not set up for that I mean uh, that's an easy fix though I can put you know bigger wheels would pneumatic wheels or something to take that uh, if that's what you wanted to do uh, but anyway so that being said I'm gonna go ahead and put put the old Polaris on here and see how that one lines up but I just wanted to show this video these carts uh, you know in case somebody had a need an idea on how to work on your snowmobile there you have one it. more thing to note it's uh, besides working on them which is you know great um, you know for storage you could just slide them up against the wall so I don't know I think I think they're uh, awesome so if you're looking for you know storage slash work rack for snowmobiles there you have it something that uh, if you're halfway decent with a welder you can make easily just got to figure out a way to get them up there but I just thought I'd share that because well just because <laughs> all right later